All right, so it's been a little while since my last video. I uh, had a couple things happen where it just kind of delayed me. First of all, I got sick. I kind of mentioned that in my last video that it was starting to not feel well. Well, that lasted a couple weeks and then I just got busy with other stuff and then I went camping. And next thing you know, it's been at least a month since I even touched the garage. Now, I did do a little bit of stuff off camera, like I installed some conduits going to the basement. It was just easier to do that off camera because I was kind of going back and forth. Basically, I have a crawl space right under the garage. So I, I basically made a slot and then I was able to fit four conduits. I went with one and a half inch, if I recall. And then they basically just go like that. They go under the crawl space, they turn, and then there's another wall. And then that wall accesses the basement. Well, it's actually the other crawl space because I have two crawl spaces. So basically it goes from inside the garage, under the garage, and then to under, like in the house basically. So. This will give me four access ports where I can push a wire in or push anything in and it'll end up in the garage. It was just easier to do this now than to wait till the concrete is poured because now I have like probably like this much more to drill through, right? So may as well do it now and then when they pour the concrete, it'll just go around the pipes because I made them stick out uh, about this much, I guess. Because like, they're going to put three inches and I went a little bit more. So when they, they cover it, then I'll just have the tube sticking out and it's going to look pretty decent. And then if I want to either continue the tubes up to like say electrical panel or whatever, I can do that. And then I'm also going to have data going through there and I might have hot water in and out for the heating system. So I'm, I'm basically going to build like a custom HVAC system with a radiator system. Probably going to use like a car radiator or something, I'm not sure yet. So basically I'm going to use at least three of those conduits and then the other one is going to be spare. But what I'll probably end up doing is the the PEX line will probably go in one conduit and I might actually be able to fit a data cable in there too. I'm gonna to try to utilize the conduit as best possible, right? And then for the power, I'm either gonna use tech cable, which is basically armored cable that is, it's approved for just having it exposed. So I might just pass it through the conduit to get to the garage. Or the proper way of doing it would probably be to just continue the conduit all the way up to the panel. But my electrical panel is kind of recessed, so it makes it very hard to put in a conduit. Now, so basically what I got going on here is the chimney is completely gone. The only thing left from the fireplace is like a big block. And that's what the fireplace sat on. And that block was too hard to remove. Like, I mean, I could probably eventually remove it, but it just takes too much effort. I was just done with the whole breaking of concrete stuff. So I decided the block is going to stay there. And then when I build my wall, I'm just going to put foam around it just to insulate it in. Because even though that wall is an out inside wall, because the other side is the living room, I treat it as an outside wall. And the reason for that is because the wall extends all the way to the attic. So even though it's insulated, like the ceiling is insulated here, but that part is not insulated, so the, like the coal can still kind of gravitate down. So basically, I need to have a full insulated envelope going all around. So I'm treating that as an outside wall, even though it technically isn't. So I will have a vapor barrier and insulation and everything. If I feel crazy, I might even do like two by six, but I think I'm just gonna do two by four because if I do two by six, then I technically need to do walls for the actual outside walls because what's the point? So I think I'll stick with the two by four. I think with the rock soil insulation, the vapor barrier and making it really nice and sealed, I think that'll make a big difference. And I still have the garage door. I decided to leave it in. So obviously that'll be heat loss. But if I feel that I'm losing too much heat, I can always change that later. So this will be a shop, not a garage. So I technically don't need a garage door. It is handy to have. But if I remove it, then I need to figure out how to make it look nice from outside. Because if I make too many changes, then technically I'm stepping into territory where I need permits. And you don't want to open that can of worm. But anyway, so yeah, so basically the floor is ready for the concrete to be poured. Now I'm just waiting for my concrete guy to call me back for a date. Like, I'm not even sure what's going on. I haven't had a response from him in a while. So hopefully he responds because he already gave me an estimate. I got a price, everything. I would hate to skimp on that and then go with somebody else. But if he doesn't respond to me, then maybe I'll have to do that. So, but he did tell me he was really busy. So I'll give him benefit of doubt. I think in a couple more days, if I don't hear anything, I'll probably call him again. So yeah, so this is where I stand with the garage. I just figured I would make an update. It's not much to go on. So I think for now, I'm gonna put this project to rest because even once the concrete is done, I wanna give it time to cure. And I think I'm immediately gonna do a nice epoxy finish. That I can just do myself, it's a roll on thing. But you actually have to wait, I think a couple of weeks or something for the cure. 
So I think I'll do exactly that. I'll wait. I'll give it maybe a, no, a little bit more time to be safe. And then I'll, I'll start building the walls on that. So in the meantime, my next project will be a deck. And I'm hoping to kind of get that figured out soon. I kind of have a general idea how I'm going to do it. I use Linux and all the CAD programs on Linux suck. So to be honest, when I plan these things, I just kind of plan in my head. Sometimes I even use paper. It feels kind of archaic, but I guess that's the price for trying to avoid Windows. Because Windows 8 and 10 suck. And Windows 7 is you know, going to be out of commission soon. So I figured I would kind of move to more open source stuff. But anyways, this is it for this video. And I just want to keep it short. So thanks for watching. And if you like these kind of videos, subscribe and all that good stuff. Have a good one. Bye.